Max says, I'm 17 years old and I've noticed that there has been a change in my father's behavior. He spends too much time at the computer playing a war game and I've noticed how alone my mom feels and I just want my father to spend more time with my mom. What should I do and how can I talk to my father? I kind of feel ashamed for him. Help. Maneuver something where you can get him out of the house into some like romantic resort for a couple of days, assuming they can afford it. I mean, take a weekend and go somewhere and just be alone with each other and see if they can't rekindle that romance. The, the romance is obviously going out of the marriage. It's not as much excitement as it used to be. And, um, you know, it, it may be your mom isn't as sweet as you think she is. She may be kind of hard-nosed. And so he, he, he said, well, it's my, my father, he's not paying attention to mom, but his mom... Uh, <laughs> how, how are you going to blame the mother? It's easy to blame the mother. You know, a woman came to a, a preacher that I know. He's so funny. And she I'm was sure. awful looking. Oh, I mean, her hair was all torn up and she was overweight and looked terrible, clothes bad and everything. And uh, she said, oh, Reverend, what can I do? Uh, my husband has started to drink. And the preacher looked at her and said, Madam, if I was married to you, I'd start to drink, oh, too. Oh, my. Okay. We need to cultivate romance, darling. And it needs to be the men have got to be cultivating romance and the women. You, you, you always have to keep that spark of love alive. It just isn't something that just lie there. Well, I'm married to him, so he's got to take me slatternly looking. You've got to fix yourself up, look pretty, look alert. But... A child said, what do I do with my parents? Get them out of the house. Get them off on a nice romantic weekend. Okay, next question. <laughs> okay. Comes with 58 years of marriage. I know what I'm talking about. All right, what's next? Oh, I love that argument at the end, man. That's how you know you're making such a shitty point, is when you have to revert to the uh, personal experience argument. I, I've been th through a lot in, in life, so I know I'm everything. That's not an argument, man. You know that's not an argument. All right, so uh, a whole bunch of things there I want to I discuss. Uh, first of all, obviously, the elephant in the room. On such limited information, all it is is a couple sentences in a question to him. The person asks, look, my father plays video games all day long. My mom seems a little bit upset by that. What can I do to help out? What does Pat Robertson do? In that limited information, he goes, well, well it's probably her fault. How could you ascertain that from the little bit of information that you got in that email? No, but see, that speaks to Pat Robertson's worldview. See, because in Pat Robertson's mind, he thinks, okay, the man's job is to provide everything else. If something goes wrong, you got to blame it on the woman. Why? Because the man's doing his job. He's going to work. So if he's not that interested in her for one reason or another, obviously it's never the man's fault ever, ever, ever. You got to say, look, it's got to be the woman's fault. And the story he told about uh, his friend with the ugly wife, etc., that's that solidifies that 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 what we're saying now is his world of view. That, you know, it's like, oh, you know, oh, you're ugly. I wouldn't be into you either. Like, OK, first of all, Pat, uh, we're, I'm sure that you are really no Brad Pitt either. And what you think Pat Robertson's friends or the the guy married to the woman you think he was a prize you think he was uh, he had a six pack going going to the gym all the time eating right making sure he he looks on point staying in shape please.